by just one IP to get into the mount. All right, so I'm gonna start from side control. So I'm in here in side control, okay? Got the head, underhook. And to start, I wanna get a better grip on the head. So on my underhook, I'm just gonna open his arm a little bit. He's walking my hand up. When I do, the hand under the head can reach under the armpit. And there's like a tendon or whatnot here under his armpit that I can grab onto. So I get to that, and that allows me to pull with this hand and get a lot of little generous shoulder pressure, right? Without having to lean over. If I don't reach with this hand, if I have like a heat grip here, and I try to give that same pressure, I have to lean into him, and my weight's way forward. I don't want that. So if I open, and just grab in the armpit here, I can pull him in. And now it's hard for him to turn his head towards me, okay? This works gi and no gi. You, can, you can't get to the armpit, you know, you can, on the gi, you can grab, like, grab the emblem here, grab him and pull. But man, this is so much better if you get to the armpit there. So that's the first grip. Now I'm gonna slide my, my leg over to the mount, so I need to have space over here for my leg to go into. So I'm gonna open that, make sure that's there. I start to move my knees in, forehead to the floor, okay? And this gives me a base. So if he bridges or something, I have a base on the floor, I won't, I won't fall up. I'm gonna slide my knee up and hook his hip here. I got a lot of pressure and it's gonna stop. And a lot of guys, as you start to move in, he's gonna try to bridge me off. As soon as he bridges, boom. That's my, my time to go. So while he's bridging, I mount. So he's in the middle of a bridge, he can't react to my mount. If I'm not careful, I just bring this leg across, he, doesn't, he can catch me in the half guard. But if I'm in here and he bridges, he tries to catch me, I'm already in. So that puts me right to my mount. Okay. When I get to the mount, we'll stop here. I want to be on the laces of my shoes. My big toes kind of pointing in. And if I need base out to the side, you can open the knees up wider. Okay, and that gives me my left or right. I don't want to go out here like this. While I got the base, it's easy. Just it's lazy. You can, you can put the half guard back on. You hear that tone, right? But if I have my legs here, you can't really get the half guard back. And I've got just as good a control side to side. Just one more time. Side control. Open up. Make that grip. Pull in. Some good, good shoulder pressure here. Put my forehead on the floor as I come up. Open this face. He's gonna go out bridge. I'm gonna come straight to the mount. And just stop here. Three seconds, I get my points. One, two, three, get four points for the mount. Okay, I'll start with that one, keep working on the build line. One, two, three. <laughs> so start the technique from the side control so you can keep working the mount. Come in, okay? Face down, coming through, boom, open that space. If he doesn't bridge, I can go to the mount. Same way, except for my foot. I want not, I don't want to pass it below his belt very much, because when I come through here, he can always catch that foot, right? So if I'm in here and he's not bridging, then I'll bring my knee up towards the armpit and then bring it through, all right? So it's just a variation. Otherwise, off of the bridge, you're gonna have that moment always, just go. Don't even worry about position, just go. All right, I get here. A lot of things I could, I could go from Ezekiel if I have the head stuff, but I'm gonna sit up, I wanna work on the cross choke, okay? So I sit back, anytime I sit up in the mount, I'm not just gonna sit here. I wanna have my hands or something, so I like to grab the hands to the wrist. And that gives me control. Or if he throws a really hard bridge, I've got something to hold on to to keep me from falling down. And it keeps me from grabbing, pushing, all that. So if I'm here, I go to sit up. He's probably going to be defending the neck, you know. I give him something to grab onto. If I'm sitting right on his hips, so I take the, the worst part of that bridge if I'm sitting on the hip. All right, anyhow, let's go straight to this choke, and then we'll go over after that and break it down some ideas for getting a hand in the collar. So right now there's no defenses. He's just laying there. So I want to go four fingers, palm up, first grip, come in here deep, and around. I'm going to be choking his carotids here. So I need my wrists. In here to be even with the neck. So if I make a shallow grip, it's not deep enough. I want to come deep, 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 knuckles on the floor. All right? Now when I put this hand in palm up, it goes in, I got the flat part of my wrist on this neck. I can't choke so well. All right? So I put this in, and then I go palm up and I drop my elbow out. I'm heavy on the elbow. And that's going to help me to one, get the wrist in the neck, and two, give him some pressure. Okay, kind of set the 
pace of how this is going to be for him from here on out. All right? Lots of pressure. Now, if I'm here, I've got my hands on each side. If he tries to push me to his left, I've got a base here. But if I use this hand, he knocks me off to the left, I'm going to fall down. All right? So as soon as I give up this grip, I'm going to cheat my weight to the other side. So now if he tries to push me over there, it's going to be kind of hard. Ways he can try to build it, but it's not going to happen right off. So here we are. Now I'm going to go one, two. I'm a little different than what we did last night. I'm going to drop my elbow down. I've got my forearm on the ground for base. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to put my forehead on the ground too. And I can start to use my elbow and my forearm to open up his neck. And I'm looking to bring my thumb in the collar here. Make a thumb grip. And then just swing it back in. Forehead stays on the ground. And now I can show. Okay. I always want to have my head on the floor while I'm doing this. Because if he throws a really hard bridge, I've got base. If I'm a little bit off the floor, I don't want to do it because it hurts. <laughs> I'm going to hit the floor. I might as well stay on top and I'm going to have a headache. Right? So I just keep my forehead on the floor for base the whole time. Four fingers. Palm up, turn it up, heavy elbow, keep my weight, base, base, got my whole forearm here, base, and I'm looking here, I can start to open that up, open that up, open that up, until I get my thumb in, I'm really pushing this head up to the side, thumbs in the collar, now I'm going to wheel it back in, I'm bringing this back under that jawbone, right, here, and then just swing back to the middle, and now I choke. Anytime I do a mounted cross choke, my head always goes on the floor on the side and my hands on top. So if I went here, here, my head would be on that side. But since I'm going here and then thumb over, head stays on that side. Okay. Center. When I'm doing this choke, it's not a, it's this. So when I'm in here, I drop my chest into the hands. I just push and get the pressure here. Kind of poof your chest into the hands. And like I just fall on your weight there, right? So again, he's defending. Up, out, under, slide it in, just pop the thumb out. Elbows out, thumb comes in, and then back. Yeah, if he's uh, if he's bigger, and I'm having a hard time riding here, I'm riding on his hip, and then I'll go to my toes, and I can kind of come up a little bit, okay? And that'll separate me a little bit from the hips. So if he bridges, it's not going to be such a, a force that's going to push me off. So I can, I can be out here and just kind of come up a little bit, but I stay on my toes. And I can drive off my toes at the chest right into the choke. Okay? Alright, second one, he's defending. Two hands. I got all my fingers here, right? Just grab the lapel and open it. Okay. So he's not gonna let me do it. So don't let me, don't let me. <laughs> and you go come right down. I'm gonna push it down. And then like good. He's defending tired. Hard, hard, hard. Two hands. Open, boom. Okay. 
see that again or we get one, two, three, go. So I already made it to the mound. Sitting up here, find my way to the collar, and boom. Okay. He scooted that way, so his collar right now for me is kind of hard, right? So at any time, you can kind of shake. You can call it shake the baby, and I can get in here and just shake to get this loose. <laughs> now nah, that's what I want. All right, so I'm in here. He's going to defend. So he's going to have his hands defending here on me, all right? I want to go to the next one. I see this here. He's defending. So I can grab the sleeve, grab the elbow. I'm going to grab the sleeve here and drag the arm. And then trap his tricep. You right? Trap his tricep with my chest. So now he can't get back. Now I come over to the other side, thumb in, and I'm just gonna choke him while the arm's trapped. So you got one arm going under and one arm going over, and you're trapping the arm there at the same time. I'm just doing the same choke. But now he's even in a worse position. So maybe I pull up, out, slide under, bring the thumb. Oh. Coming through, coming through, aha, drag. I'm gonna scoot up, put my head on the floor, right, come in here, move the head, get my thumb on the collar, and just loop it right under his jawbone. And I don't have to move here, I just go right into that choke, okay? I think that's one detail you're gonna find here too. When you drag the arm, it's hard to work in here, because everything's so far away. Just move forward. Boom, head on the floor. Can you move your arm out? Yeah. This sucks, doesn't it? Yeah. Move his head out of the way. Pop, 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 right? Thumbs in. Go under the jawbone. You'll feel the neck. And then you finish your choke. A lot of pressure on the shoulder. Keep the horse on your neck. You guys want to see one more? Okay, let me get in the balance here. I keep hearing his neck pop. Anyone? Sure. You got a good left shoulder? Sure. All right. Here. All right. Up. Out. And then. Just trying to set this up. I see this. Four fingers. Or the elbow depends where I'm at. You know, I could be at this stage of it right here. Just decide to come back. Come here. And try. I scoot up. Put my head on the floor. And then I can get this in here, just open that up, find the thumb. Boom. Oh, okay. Finish that one, two, three. Not nice, but I love it. Uh, the same, same pose. Are you recording? Yeah. Woo! Okay. Use your head. Face your head. Hey. That's where it's So this would be funny to watch. Make the grip. <laughs> <laughs>